We're here with Nee Simmons. Nee is an independent consultant and he helps startups raise capital and advise them. Uh, welcome to South Africa. Welcome to Tech for Africa. Thanks for having me here. Um, you're from DC. What, what drew you to Tech for Africa? Yeah, um, I've known Garrett for a few years. I met him South by Southwest and uh, we, uh, we developed a bond in hearing me speak on panel and uh, we were talking about African technology, innovation with technology and uh, we just clicked. And he's been trying to get this event out for a few years, and uh, so I'm here to share my experiences with helping entrepreneurs with uh, everything from uh, strategy to run a business, that sort of thing. I think my experience with uh, venture capital and raising finance, and they really want to, you know, how how do you go about raising funding? What's what are the steps you need to raise funding, and where should you what should you do? Yeah. yeah. Um, from, a, from an African perspective, what do you think are African and South Africans' biggest challenges when it comes to raising capital? There's numerous, numerous challenges. I mean, South Africa to me, it's, it's uh, somewhat like, um, it's much more advanced than the rest of South so here in Africa. Where I'm from, West Africa, or where my parents are from, Ghana, um, there's, there's actually a lot of capital in the system. It's just locked, right? Um, you have an idea, it may be a good idea, but you're not going to get the funding because there's so many barriers to getting that funding. So what you would have to do is either apply for a grant or what have you. So there's, what we need in Africa are sophisticated capital markets, right? We need better capital markets. We need um, people, more people like me that have experience with helping the businesses, um, with, with strategy, with getting capital, that sort of thing. Um, and we need governments to change regulatory policies. Um, you know, um, Rwanda, Ghana, Kenya, there's some countries that uh, have instituted good regulatory schemes to really allow entrepreneurs to, to flourish. Yeah, we had um, the emergence of Silicon Cape last year, which really does try and address those regulatory issues in South Africa as well. I mean, it's, it is a big issue. What do you do to, to help change that? Yeah, there's numerous things. I mean, um, I, I think I like the, you know, when I was a kid, I played follow the leader, right? You know, you, or you, you know, um, I think Rwanda has done a really great job and really, um, you know, Rwanda went through a really bad civil war and Paul Kagame, he's trained in the West, he came in, he said, well, how do we change our country? So he's really opened up the country of ICT, they have Wi-Fi, they have all these great technologies that some in the, in the, in the West would say, wow, you know, but there's some issues that they're going through, but, you know, Rwanda's a great, great test case and I think once countries... It's about leadership, eh? Yeah, yeah. you know, I mean, for, in West Africa, a lot of there's a lot of West Africans in this country because there's opportunity here, right? Uh, it's funny. I heard earlier there's a speaker who's talking about issues in South Africa, and I'm like, I wish we had your issues in Ghana and Nigeria because uh, the issues here are just opportunities for us. You know, if, if Nigeria had 10% of what you guys had here, they they would probably be leading this continent. Um, they should be leading. Nigeria really should be leading this continent in terms of like innovation and technology. It's just with all these issues, with all their problems that they're going through, and it's it's just it's just not, it hasn't happened, you know. So there are a lot of issues. I think the regulatory framework is one key um, thing that's that's holding people back. Two is access to capital, and um, three is just we need a different mindset. You know, um, Africans really need to think outside the box in terms of building great companies that can be that can export our, our goods across the world. Do you think Africans should be focusing on Africa and the African market or do you think they should be thinking about products that are global and have a global focus? Um, I, I would re rephrase the question you know how can you build a business that can solve an everyday problem? Start your local market, find a problem that you can that, that can address an issue that can solve a problem for the masses, turn it into a um, profitable business and then see if that potential solution can be mimicked in local markets around you. Once you have that that proof of concept, go global. You know, um, start small, think big. Absolutely. And on that point, are you seeing any startups coming out from from Africa that that are noteworthy? Yeah, I think um, there's there's a lot of startups. I always go back to trying to find a solution for a problem, right? Yeah. So I think. Pro, um, Businesses that address a problem that can hit a critical mass have a big market potential are businesses that I like to work with, right? Um, for instance, I'm working with a medical devices company in the U.S. It's a Ghanaian and a Nigerian, and they're looking at building a medical devices company for Africa. They were educating the U.S., worked for pharmaceutical companies, and they're, they're looking at building their own medical devices company. Yeah. And, and so, like, wheelchairs, um, you know, um, for orthopedics, that sort of thing. There, there isn't that 
there's a, uh, uh, from my recollection, I don't think there are many companies in Africa doing building medical devices for the African market. I mean, this is a tech conference, but I like to tell people like there are a lot of things that we should also focus on that. You know, everybody likes to talk about technology because it's, it's interesting. It's, it's sexy. It's sexy. It's low cost of barrier barrier entry, but we have so many finished goods that are brought into this country. They take our raw materials to China yeah. and bring back finished goods. So I say to a lot of people Do that, them here. Let's, why can't we just be innovative?